方还是Cambridge are the, the heavier crew, um, and traditionally the heavier crew has an advantage, but um, Oxford have looked very good in their warm-up races. It's hard for me to say. I haven't seen uh, Oxford out on the water. I've, I've seen uh, Cambridge a couple of times, but only seeing one part of the picture, it's difficult then to say. And even actually, if you see them on the same day sometimes, if they're going in different directions, you're only really going to know when they line up next door to each other and finally you can get on with racing. I know it's been a difficult winter for them both because uh, as, we, as we all know, the, you know, the Thames has been flooded, they've had to have contingency plans and, and come up with creative ideas for how to get their training in. Um, so they're probably both feeling a little bit on the back foot, a little bit underprepared. They don't really have as much information as they normally have going into the race. So it's really um, anybody's guess. When you, when you see some of the, the, um, the quality of some of the oarsmen, and Olympic oarsmen as well, world championship oarsmen in the Oxford boat, that's going to be quite a battle, I think. And that's, that's probably what's whipping Cambridge up, because they know that last year was not a good race, didn't go as they wanted it to. Same in 2011, so in 2014, they really need to get out there and, and prove what they're made of. The unique thing about the boat race is you can do all these predictions, you can have all these ideas of what the other crew is going to be like, but you don't actually know. You don't actually know until the day. You don't actually know until you're, you know, halfway along the Surrey Bend, going underneath Hammersmith. What is really the medal of your crew versus them? 